Hi, I am Per Richard. So here we are in South Africa, in Cape Town, in the Woodstock area. We are at the restaurant, the Test Kitchen, to meet with Chef Luke Day Roberts. Let's meet Luke and hear about his focus on creativity with flavors, premium produce, and an interior design to create a full-fledged dinner experience. Luke, let me ask you first. If you were to explain for somebody that's never been here about your philosophy or your profile when it comes to cooking, what would you say? Um, well, I think the Test Kitchen, um, first I need to explain a little bit about what the Test Kitchen is. Um, we opened approximately six years ago. Um, it was a 24-seater restaurant with a kitchen right in the middle. Um, the idea behind the Test Kitchen was to take uh, food and flavor as far as I possibly could presenting that in a beautiful way, in a multi-sensory way to the guests. Initially it was meant to be open three nights a week for 16 people. How did you get into food in the first place? Um, that was purely by chance, I have to be honest. I always loved cooking when I was very young. I used to cook a lot with my mother um, and I came from a family that, you know, my mum used to make our own bread and we had a nice vegetable garden and all that kind of thing. Um, but I left school very young at 16 um, and I really didn't know what I was going to do and I was going to pursue a career as an electrician. Um, and then my uncle, who was in the hospitality industry, was visiting from Dubai and he suggested, why don't you try something in the hospitality? You know, there's cooking, there's this, there's that, there's that. And I actually said, well, I love cooking, so maybe I'll try that. And then as soon as I started, I, I became completely addicted. You're obviously a very creative person when it comes to both plating and ingredients that you have. Where do you find the right produce? Uh, well, South Africa is abundant with produce. I mean, I've been here 11 years now, and it's incredible how the, the diversity and the quality of produce has just, like, ramped up, you know, dramatically. When, when I first arrived here, I was, I was really happy because I'd come from Asia, and I've been there for five years, and, and I was really happy with the produce, but um, small individual producers, farmers, um, they're all, they're all really like growing and bringing something to the table. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm super grateful with what we've got now, you know, and it's getting better every day. successful with the test kitchen. You're known all over the world. Uh, it's always packed here, hard to get tables. Where will you go from now then? Um, well, I'm very much enjoying the creative aspect of my job still. Um, we've just changed the test kitchen format. We, until three or four months ago, we were open lunch and dinner, doing 60 lunch, 60 dinner. Um, and we've just closed lunches and we're only open dinner for 40 people. We've changed the whole format of the restaurant. So you enter through the first door into the dark room where you have cocktails and you have um, food that you eat with your hands. Very multi-sensory dark experience. And then you come through the door like a porthole opens and you come through the door into the light room, classical music, crystal glassware, white tablecloths. Um, so it's, it's really the juxtaposition between those two um, environments. Um, and I'm loving that. I'm loving the whole, you know, new angle. I think new space equals new food, new ideas, you know.
if you were to give a young person that wants to become a chef an advice, what would that be? I would say um, study it briefly um, at college, go to, to college and learn the basic principles and then um, go and find a job in a very good restaurant um, where you can learn to the highest level um, and try and find somewhere where you're happy you know like I always moved around different restaurants and there were some jobs I wasn't happy in you know and I, I think there is this you know still this stigma attached to cooking that it needs to be hard and tough and abusive and I think that a lot of people lose their spirit so find a job that you're happy in um, learn everything you can keep all your senses open and tuned in and don't be in a hurry like learn from as many good people as you can before you do it for yourself in short I would say work hard um, stay tuned in listen um, be passionate love your craft and um, work under some good masters